Amazon started out as an online bookstore in 1994, but today it is far more than just an online marketplace. With a finger in pretty much every pie you can think of, shopping, groceries, video, music, virtual assistants, gaming, and a whole lot more. But one of the most interesting of Amazon's many businesses is one that a lot of people don't know much about, Amazon Web Services, or AWS, the crown jewel of Amazon's empire. We hope you enjoy this light bulb moment. Amazon makes a lot more revenue from its online stores, but AWS accounts for more than 75% of Amazon's overall profit as of Q1 2020. So, what is AWS and why is it pooping money? Amazon Web Services, or AWS, is a platform that provides a suite of tools and infrastructure services for developers. Imagine you're trying to build a factory that creates children's toys. There's a lot of things you will need. Electricity, transportation networks, construction equipment, raw materials, labor, etc. You probably don't want to build power plants and railway networks yourself. So, you'd rather set it up somewhere that already has this infrastructure and pay someone for these services. Software development is similar to this. Before cloud services like AWS, a lack of such infrastructure meant that everyone had to set up everything themselves. This made the barrier to entry for new businesses much higher. If you wanted to set up a software company 15 or 20 years ago, you would have to buy your own servers for computing and storage physical space to store these servers, cooling systems, and probably a whole lot more. Not only does this come with high costs and engineering effort, it also means you have to predict how much traffic you will get, or risk the servers crashing from the load. With AWS, all of these problems go away. You can set up a web server in just a few minutes virtually for free. You only pay for as much as you were using, which means no unnecessary expenses. And you don't have to worry about being able to handle too much traffic because AWS will scale up or down for you. This is not a new model for Amazon, who thrives on solving infrastructure problems. The marketplace that it is so well known for also solves infrastructure problems by attracting customers through low prices, two-day shipping, and a whole bundle of other services included in its Prime membership. Amazon provides a thriving marketplace where sellers can reach millions of customers. Through its FBA program, Amazon provides services like storage, shipping, and even manufacturing of some items, solving the most challenging infrastructure problems for new sellers. In fact, Jeff Bezos' side project, Blue Origin, is also doing basically the same thing, trying to solve infrastructure problems for space travel, so the next generation of space companies can build on top of this. But more on that in another video. Amazon did not stop at just servers and storage space though. AWS has offerings for everything developers might need to help them build software. From apps to blockchain, AR and VR, artificial intelligence, game development, and a whole lot more. 212 services to be precise. As you might imagine, each of these is an industry of its own with endless amounts of customization possible. But with Amazon handling all the infrastructure, they added a layer of abstraction that allows developers to focus on building their own projects. Cloud services like this are the norm now, and Amazon controls a little over 30% of the market, including customers like Netflix, Spotify, Slack, LinkedIn, Facebook, and even the US government. That's right, every time you're Netflix and chillin' or jam into Spotify, guess who's making money behind the scenes? That's right, Mackenzie Bezos, who owns around 4% of Amazon. This is why AWS is Amazon's crown jewel. It grows as internet usage does, so it's already riding some pretty strong waves. And it's a much higher margin business than selling physical products at low prices. Walmart, for example, makes more revenue than any company in the world, 514 billion. Almost double Amazon's revenue, but their profit margin is only around one to 2%. In contrast, AWS has a profit margin close to 30%, and AWS's profits account for about 77% of Amazon's overall operating income. As if all of this wasn't enough, AWS is also, by nature, a sticky product. If you're already using AWS for storage and computing power, 
it's probably going to be easier to continue to use AWS services in other areas as well. It is not easy for a company to stop using AWS because it means a lot of engineering hours spent on something that customers won't care about. In fact, the only major reason you might have to switch to another cloud provider is cost. And as we all know, Amazon loves to price competitively. If you made it this far, please tickle that like button and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Stay curious and we'll be back with more lightbulb moments soon.